I'm Jen Lytle, owner broker of Tierra Yucatan, bringing you another edition of Yucatan Living's Houses of Merida. Today we're in the old city of Izamal, one of Mexico's Pueblos Magicos, and it's been given that designation for its amazing colonial facades, its yellow paint that glows in the sun, and its, uh, in its history, its ancient history. The history of Izamal begins long before the arrival of the Spanish. This was an ancient Maya colonial center and there are still huge pyramids in the center of almost every block. The convent behind me was started in the 50, early 1500s by Bishop Diego de Landa and it sits on one of the largest pyramids, the stones of which were used for building the convent. It has the second largest atrium in the world after the Vatican. The houses here, many of which were built with the stones of the pyramid, have gorgeous facades set with flint with interesting designs and uh, we'll do a few walks through the streets so that you can see some of the uh, exquisite architecture here in Isamal. Today we're going to look at two homes in particular and one of the places where many tourists choose to stay when they come here. We're not far from the ruins of, of uh, Chichen Itza and we're also only 45 minutes from Merida so you're well situated here for many of the sites and it's a beautiful, peaceful town to spend a few days relaxing on your way between Merida and Cancun, about halfway between Valladolid and Merida. Isabal is a city rich in handicrafts and folk art. Under the portales here you can find a selection of most of what Isabal has to offer. Jewelry made of cocoyol, hand-carved wood, embroidered with pilas and skirts, sweets made out of the local honey. And this beautiful hammock, typical of the region, it's enormous is six, between 60 and 80 dollars for pretty much any of these. Just choose your color. This jewelry is typical of the area too. There's, it's made out of some pieces are from coconut shell that's polished. Others are the seeds of the cocoyol tree. And we've got some made out of cow's horn and cow bone. So it's very inexpensive to buy, very beautiful and very long lasting. This, this necklace here is cocoyol. This is the seed of a tree and it goes through quite a process to be polished. It's very, very hard and it will last forever. The horse-drawn calesas will be a lovely way to take you through the city to many of the handicraft shops where you can visit the artisans in their homes and see how everything is made and choose your pieces from the craftsmen themselves. Behind us is the Benamex Museum which has some beautiful examples of folk art from other parts of Mexico and also off the square is the little shop Echo a Mano where you can find many, many beautiful things that have been hand-selected from other areas of the country, as well as beautiful things from Yucatan. Hi, Jean. <laughs> How are you? I Good brought some friends you. along. Okay. I wanted them to see your beautiful shop, and I want to let everybody know that just on the main square of Isamal, you should come and see Jean. She's been in Isamal for 20 years, can tell you everything that's going on, whatever day you come where to find whatever you want. And here in the store, you'll find some amazing things that you're going to want to take home with you.
This very old house is just a block and a half from the main square. You'll see one huge old room and behind it gardens and new construction. Let me open up for you. This is the oldest room that still remains of the original property. The walls are made of solid rock, probably from the pyramids which surround the house on every side. The pieces that you see on the walls here are the hammer cooks. And this room would have slept, let's see, one, two, three, four. Well, I would think probably 12 of your friends could sleep in this room. The owners of this house are artists and kept this space pretty much open to be studio, workspace, and when they were thinking of having a bed and breakfast here, perhaps a restaurant which would open to the street. The big area owner's house is built on two levels. The two downstairs bedrooms were completely independent for guests and a huge airy master bedroom upstairs. The living rooms also are big and airy and uh, well, there's handmade woodwork, locally built handmade woodwork everywhere in this house. Here on the ground level we have a huge open living dining room and uh, two guest bedrooms on one level for people that don't want to use the stairs. One of the great features of this house, and you'll see it in the design of many houses, is the airflow, that, that there are passageways and, and open, open areas all the way around the house so that from every angle the breeze can come through and you can feel it right now just standing here without the fans. The kitchen in this house is very simple, open, quite typical of what a lot of people choose. Plenty of storage space that, as you can see, is open. A local carpenter can easily make doors if you prefer to have your kitchen closed, but having it open keep, makes it very easy to keep everything clean and dusted down. The kitchen is very central and open. There are doors here from the main patio and out to the back garden, and behind us there's a laundry room for your washer and dryer. The two pretty downstairs bedrooms open onto a covered portico that runs all the way around the house. Each has its own bath. A lovely feature of this house is the open living area on this level. It's plumbed for a half bath over here. Great place for yoga, for painting outdoors, for entertaining with friends. Really, whatever you would like to do, the climate here is perfect most of the year for outdoor living. Upstairs here we have a huge master bedroom and a children's bedroom both with their own baths and very, very comfortable. The big open terrace on the third level here was designed to add on if you'd like to put more rooms on the house. The owners were considering having a bed and breakfast and from here we're going to go and see one of the best bed and breakfasts in the area. A lovely place to stay when you come to Isamal Makanche. Here we are in the Palapa restaurant of Pretty Makanche, bed and breakfast in Isamal. There are 16 rooms, mostly in little cottages set amongst tropical jungle, and it's one of my favorites. There's a full kitchen and uh, breakfast is served in the morning and you can reserve dinner at night. Very good cooks and an interesting menu of local dishes. Each of the cottages has its separate theme. This is Catherwood Cottage and it's got the illustrations of Frederick Catherwood who was one of the discoverers and illustrators of the pyramids in, the, in about 1840-1842. The rooms are all very comfortable, each one is individual, most are air conditioned, this is air conditioned, there, I think there are three or four which don't have air conditioning, which are economic rooms. Um, this also has ensuite bath for your comfort. You can enjoy Isamal during the hot days, there's plenty of shade, a beautiful pool, it's like a cenote with a rock bottom, a palapa, there's a Maya sauna here with a tamascal. There's plenty to take up your time when you're not viewing the pyramids or the convent or the folk art or all of the other things that there are to do in the area.